All right, what's up, y'all? So in this video, it's basically me just showing what I have in my closet. Now, over the past one or two years, I have been thrifting a lot. And so like majority of my closet now is thrifted clothes. Not all, I still buy clothes from offline and like from other places, but majority of my clothes are thrifted and I'm only showing the thrifted portion. Don't worry, I'm not showing all my thrifted clothes, mainly because some of them are dirty, but also I wanna save it for a part two, so yeah and as you can see i have like all the clothes like here and i did divide the clothes i have like shirts uh sweaters jackets pants all divided up and i'm just showing you all those also if you haven't already check out the depop in the link in the bio you know what i'm saying it might be some shirts in there that you would like that i put on there but with all that being said let's start it it's just gonna be me showing you my shirts and ranking them basically i might give a few backstories and tips and tricks on what i did to find them also because i feel like that would be very helpful so the first shirt we have is by lee and it's just a yes dear t-shirt what i really like about this t-shirt i was with jamie when i found it we went on a there's adventure to goodwill and i found this and i was like this is just hard like yes dear this is cool i really like it next shirt we have does not have a tag but it does look like this it is embroidered um i just really thought this was cool because the embroidered part i was like a skull embroidered t-shirt like this is hard i also found this shirt with jamie also when it comes to finding shirts if you don't want to look through all of them on the rack you see how i have these clothes if you don't want to look through all of them on the rack i usually go by the texture of the sleeve just to save me time that's when i don't have time to just be like dilly dallying through each in every single crevice of the thrift rack. So I just always look for the texture of the sleeve because majority of the time, if the texture feels right, the shirt's probably worth getting. Next shirt we got is a hang shirt. It is triple XL. It says Lions of Judah. Just thought it was pretty cool. I was originally supposed to crop it. I still might crop it, but I don't know. Next shirt we have does not have a tag either. I think I ripped it out when I first got it because you know, the little tags be like messing with the back of my neck. I gotta pull it out. Um, But this is a Canada Montreal t-shirt. I really like like the embroidery on here when i did cop this shirt it was a few people in the comments that really liked this shirt saw this and i was like the texture super tough and look at the the neck part like this was super cool that was another reason why i was like oh i'll, I'll keep this instead of selling it. the next shirt is by beefy t-shirt i really love beefy t-shirt mainly because their shirt texture is like probably the best out of every shirt like i've ever felt they have really good texture really good colors the shirt looks like this this was a recent pickup i just really like the texture of this so i went ahead and got it it's all wrinkly and stuff but when it's iron, it's pretty cool. Next shirt we got is this Gildan Ultra Cotton. It just reminded me of something that was Y2K. So I was like, I'm gonna just cop it. Next, we have this Dare Roll Model shirt. Now this shirt, I kind of feel like it's too little. It kind of fits like, like bot. I might sell it on Depop. I don't know, but it's a cool shirt overall. Next shirt we got, I ripped the tag out because I didn't like the way it felt. But surprisingly, it's by Allstate. <laughs> and it's like a motorcycle on the front. I really just thought this was, this was pretty cool. Who knew Allstate made, made like t-shirts? Next shirt we got is by Paramount Outdoors. It kind of looks like Realtree with a skull on it. I got this from a friend. His name is uh, Jesus over at New Era thrifting but he gave me this for free because i came on down and was uh willing to do some content with him bro this man i'm telling you i'm not even glazing right now like this man has the best t-shirts like they have a bunch of stuff to pick from it, it's actually crazy next shirt is this i love new york t-shirt just says i love new york this is kind of self-explanatory i've been wanting one of these for the longest time finally got one and yeah i, I really like it i took a picture in it recently couldn't see the whole entire thing you could probably see this because i had a jacket over it the pictures came out fire speaking of pictures make sure you follow my instagram at sad boy for that keep y'all updated next shirt we have is this xl carhartt t-shirt self-explanatory like always next up we have harley davidson now this is super duper extremely cool. I remember when I got this, I went to the Montrose area in Houston, Texas, saw this t-shirt and I was like, bro, I have to get this. I spent like 17 to $20 on this. Yeah, I was thinking of selling this on Depop. I, I barely wear it. Stay, stay posted in the, in the Depop, this might be on there. We don't know. Another Carhartt shirt. Next, we have this Outfitters Ridge. Now, this right here, I was obsessed for the longest time with camo, like real camouflage t-shirts, but I could never find one, like ever. And so, me and Jamie, we actually planned to go to a, a trip. It was my first ever trip. I forgot where I got it from. Oh, it was Goodwill. I went to Goodwill, and I actually found this on the rack. It was an XL, so I cropped it a little bit. And still to this day, like, I've been in love with Realtree. Like, if you watch my past videos, I always be like, Realtree, shout me out, Realtree. Realtree, I need you. I need y'all to look at this. But uh, yeah, man, this, this shirt holds weight. I really love this shirt so much. Next shirt we have is by Nike. This is the work of my friend Jesus over at New Era Thrifting, bro. Has a friend that screen prints. This is one of the toughest shirts I've ever seen. The next shirt does not have a tag for it, but I believe it's a motorcycle rally t-shirt. Looks like this. And then the back looks like... 
like this. I just thought the, the back is what caught my attention when I was at Goodwill. I was like, bro, I have to get this shirt. And last but not least on the shirt side, we have another Harley Davidson t-shirt. This one just looks like this. This one is pretty self-explanatory. I got the sleeves on here with the fire on it. The back looks like this. All right, that was the last of the shirt portion. And now I want to get into the sweaters. First sweater does not have a label, but it does look like this. I really thought this was cool when I first seen it. It feels like a Fresh Prince of Bare Layer type. I just thought this was clean, bro. I still have to like style this, but this is this is hard. The next thing we have is from Comfort Colors, and it looks like this. I just really like the texture of this. I remember when I specifically got this. This was in a video when I was changing my color palette because I, I felt like I only wore black and like blue and stuff like that. And I was like getting out my colors. So I chose this. Yeah, I believe it's like violet. So I was like, let me, let me copy. Here's the other Comfort Colors t-shirt. This one just says paid on it. And this one is, it's kind of similar to Comfort Colors, but it's by Lake Shirt. And it has this like cool hairy print on it. I thought it was pretty tough. I really like this and it fits me super duper extremely well. Uh, so I just went ahead and copped this. I really like this. I have not worn this yet, but I will be wearing it in the near future. Y'all might see me post a picture in it coming up. It is getting cold in Houston. So follow my Instagram, tell me. Now we do got a couple long sleeves that belong in the shirt category, but I'ma still just show them in sweater. Shirt by No Boundaries. And it's, it's this shirt. I remember going thrifting with my brother. We found two of the absolute same shirts. This one, we went to another thrift store and saw another one exactly like this. So I thought that was pretty ironic and funny, but but this shirt is hard. Like I want to find more shirts like this. I don't even know how you pronounce that, boy. Zin Zinana Zinana, bro. Whatever, how you ever, however you say that. <laughs> it's it's USA shirt, and these are the cuffs I'm talking about. I don't like when stuff has this on it, but you know I'm not cutting the sleeves off this, so because it's already pretty pretty small. But it just says USA on it. Thought it was pretty cool. Next shirt we have is by Paris Nation. I remember when I first got this, people were going crazy for this shirt right here. I did mess it up a little bit. I bleached it by accident, but it's still kind of unnoticeable. And I cropped it. And that's probably the part I messed up the most at. Next up, we have this Disney sweater. This is my friend that I'm talking about. This is his tag right here. If y'all want to go follow him, his name is literally on the card right here. I'm telling you, they're super legit, bro. You will not be in vain. But this sweater, oh my God. I have not worn this yet but i'm so excited to wear this ever since i i had this i have not worn it when i wear this bro it's gonna be over for everybody this shirt, this this sweater is hard bro. next shirt we have does not have a tag it's just an extra large it says virginity rocks thought this was pretty cool i know this is like merch to a youtuber i don't watch him so i don't really know his name but virginity rocks you can't beat it bro and it's black yeah Next, we have this sweater. It still has the thrift tag on it because I have not worn it yet. I bought it for $3, apparently. I remember I specifically got it from the Family Thrift Center. And I don't know how to say that name, so I'm not even going to try it. But sweater, the sweater looks like this. It's insanely big. When I put it on, it's so puffy. And yeah, it's just the blue sweater, bro. Next, this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites, and it's a reason why this is one of my favorites. This is a Carhartt large sweater. First off. I really love the color of this. Um, I also love the patch right here. That is another favorite thing because when I'm wearing it, it, the patch shows it just looks cool. Next, we have this Aerial Postal. I know y'all can't see, it's kind of faded. This Aerial Postal long sleeve. I told y'all that brown. Brown is like top three favorite colors. Self-explanatory, Aerial Postal, graphic, that, that's cool. All right. <laughs> now, as y'all can see, this part of the bed is empty. Now we have to do this whole tie. Let's get started with the jacket. So first jacket is by Nobody. It's more of a leather biker jacket. My brother talked me into getting it from Goodwill and I was just like, why not? It was literally like $26. I was like, this this looks pretty cool. I tried it on, he was like, yeah, that goes. So we got it. <laughs> Next, I got this Trial Tech Realtree hoodie from boys over at New Era Thrift. I was at the store with Jameson, bro. I was like, bro, I have to get this. I still haven't worn this jacket out yet. It's a lot of clothes I still haven't worn. Um, specifically my jackets because bro, it, it was too hot, bro. I live in Texas, y'all. It'd be like 90 degrees on a, a cool day. Next jacket is by Canterbury of New Zealand. Really love this full zip. It reminds me of like a, a Y2K type dealio. So when I seen it, I was like, yeah, I gotta get it. And come on, bro. This looks like something directly out of an anime. I was like, I, I gotta I gotta cop this. The next one is something similar. I don't know how to pronounce it. I can barely read that. I really like these stars on them and this embroidered patch. And I was like, yeah, it's brown and yellow. I wanted it to pair up with this right here. Like 
I did a get ready with me and I actually had these on. I'll probably put the video over here, but literally the only reason I got this jacket is because when I bought it. Next, I got this basic editions hoodie and literally that's what it is. I just got this jacket because it was it was brown. Like that's literally it. Literally just wanted a brown hoodie. Next up, we have this Lions brand t-shirt. Same like with the first two that looked exactly like this. I just thought of Y2K. I bought all three jackets at the same time. I, I just really like how this looks. Like, I don't know if y'all know who Ichigo is from Bleach, but he wears jackets similar to this. And uh, I'm going to collect them until I can throw a fit on that's comparable and, and looks like his. So that's the goal. Next, I have this Northwest Territory, like, real tree type jacket. Now, this one, I really like this one. I wanted to keep it, but I put it on Depop instead. I don't ever think it's going to get cold enough for me to throw this on. And if it does, I probably won't even go outside. So I was like, let me just try to put this on Depop to sell it. It hasn't sold yet, which I'm not mad about because I might change my mind. But yeah, I just thought this was super cool. It wasn't even that much. It was like $13. Next up, we got this real tree turtleneck type dealio thing. I just thought it was pretty cool. I was going to sell it on Depop. I tried it on and it looked cool on me. So I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but it, it looks pretty cool. Like the black underarm, yo. The, it makes it when it's on me it makes it look so cool got a basic under armor jacket essential <sighs> let me tell y'all about my baby bro let me tell y'all about my baby now when i got those like y2k type t-shirts right before i got those i seen this jacket that i'm about to show y'all right now and when i seen it i bought it immediately like <laughs> Same day I bought it immediately. I bought it immediately. This is like my favorite, my favorite jacket in my collection. Like my favorite. Uh, I haven't even wore it yet, but when I do, boy, I'm taking flicks. All right. This is American Eagle Outfitter jacket. First thing you notice, fur all in the inside, even on the hoodie part. Yo, this is crazy. One thing about me, I'm also like... A person that likes like rough edgings and stuff on jackets, like the beat up part, bro. They got it on the sleeves and the bottom, and they even have it on the hoodie part. When I seen that, I was like, yo, this jacket is hard. And when I tell y'all, look at my arm. You can see my veins popping. It's a heavy jacket, bro. This is like 20 pounds. Like, I'm not even joking. This this thing is so heavy. Enough glaze in this jacket, but this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. This is one of my more recent finds. It's a mossy oak like a uh, grass type, real tree type uh, dealio. And I just thought it was really cool because it's real tree, like literally inside and out. You can't even tell the difference. And I just wanted to wear this with like some George or something or some on like a cool chill type fit, you know? And last but not least for the jacket, we have this Nova Men skeleton hoodie. Now, when I first seen this, I thought this was somebody brand. I was like, this is hard because it has like teeth and stuff on the side if you full zip it. But no, nah, it was from Nova Men. And I was like, this is pretty cool because usually when you have the sleeves of the bone, it's usually on the side, like the dead side center on this part. But no, it's like in the front part. So like when you put the jacket on, it looks insanely great. I don't like, the, I don't really like the color, but besides that, it's, it's pretty chill. All right, so that was my full collection. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try to thrift more clothes so I can make a part two. This was really fun. Hopefully this holds y'all over until I can actually get into the groove of things again. I promise you, I'm gonna try to make the next video one of my best videos ever. Um, but if you're new here, please check out my recent my recent videos. They're bangers, bro. I, I promise we promise. We have 153 subscribers right now. The goal is to hit 200 by the end of November. We can we can do that. We can manage that. So thank y'all boys again. I really appreciate y'all for tuning into this video. And it's been your boy Fred, and we are out.